secret songs were songs that usually followed the final track on a record that was on a compact disc. You know, you go to the final track on the CD, you'd listen to it, and instead of starting over, it would just curiously continue playing. And you're like, "Uh uh-oh, what's going on here? It's like it's just quiet? Yeah, just quiet, dead air. And sometimes minutes would pass by, and then you get a song. Or sometimes a couple of songs that the artist would embed minutes after the final track on the record. And we all knew these as secret songs. This is what millennial people call Easter eggs on things. <laughs> um, I don't really want to call it that. I don't really like that that much. Um, I like secret song. So there were a lot of secret songs in the 1990s on compact disc records. Um, and we're selecting six of them for this ep. There's an Oasis album from O2. There's a song called Better Man at the End, and there's a 30-minute space before the song called The Cage that follows it. What? Holy majoli. And if you go to Spotify, that track is 38 minutes long. They didn't cut it. Is there any band that were that were just meaner to their fans? They just bullied their fans <laughs> around more than Oasis. It's like, like, okay, we all like their music, but they just the guy would go up there... Liam Gallagher and just stand still with his hands behind his back and sing the songs and make us all want it more. Yeah. Whatever. It's good stuff, though. It's good music. Yeah, I love Oasis. I love them, too. 